All right, so tonight we are continuing Final Fantasy X. Uh, let's see, this looks like it's our most recent save. So last time we got through the Sanubia Desert and got to home, which is where we're at right now. And it's being attacked by the Guado. <clears throat> For whatever reason. We'll find out why. I mean, the Guado is just being kind of retaliatory, retaliatory also, I think. Um for what happened to Seymour, but I, I think there's a little more to it than that. That we'll uh, find out as we uh, head, head, head in here. <clears throat> Where are you? Oh, I need to switch weapons on Titus. I just noticed that. Oh, really? That's a pain in the ass coming out with Confuse. Uh, this whole fight's a pain in the ass, actually. So she is aware enough to dodge, but that's it. And now she's absolutely useless. What up, RP? Don't forget the treasure room. That is a good point. I will not forget the treasure room. I actually forgot about that. All right, so you are silenced. I thought you were. I thought you were gone tonight. Do we have something for silence? There we go. <laughs> Casting fire on the fire on the mage probably wasn't the best idea in the world, but whatever. You got to the last phase of Mithrix and then he stole my beetle guard item and the beetle killed me. Aw, oh, dude, that's so unlucky. <clears throat> Looks like these bombs are going to be easier to kill than I thought. I thought they were going to give us a problem, but I guess not. Oh, you hopped on and tell me about Mithrix? So, oh, that's so unlucky. I feel bad for you. <clears throat> well, now that you're so good at Risk of Rain, whenever we play it on Sunday, uh, you should just uh, carry me to, vic to a victory, hopefully. Because with both of us, we can't. we surely can't fuck it up that bad, right? You also unlock the loader's second ability. It's just like the gauntlet throw, but it does damage. Oh, cool. Is that like the recommended thing to run on her? Or is like the regular kit the best kit? I like wonder, because I have Huntress's second weapon, or se second uh, auto attack ability or whatever you want to call it, her main ability. And uh, I don't like it at all. What in Yevon's name are those Guado thinking? This is terrible. You want to offer yourself on Monsoon difficulty so you can get the next skin. So is, is Loader's secondary skin actually pretty cool? Because some of the characters don't really have a very imaginative second skin. Like the Mercenaries is actually really badass. It's a samurai costume. But not all of them are that cool. They're blowing home up. We have to get underground. Where's Yuna? The summoner sanctum. This way. All right, RP. Have a wonderful weekend. Don't drink too much. Or or drink too much. Whatever you're in the mood for, I guess. Dude, why? Why are you doing this to me? Oof. All right, let's uh kill this guy first. Where's our bed potion? There they are. We have 85 already. God damn. What? Yeah. What up, Dalton? Your uh your text was the same color as RP, so I thought you were uh I thought you were him for a second because you're both orange right now in my chat. I just saw the color, not the name. All the heals. Riku's gonna get one shot by one of those giant ass dogs. <clears throat> Actually, let's just take this guy out. All right, focus Orin, that's good. 
fray. Now. Goodbye. <laughs> Through the wall. I wonder what we can steal from these guys. Mega potion. Oh shit, that's actually really good. All right, let's blind him. I wonder if you can steal more than one. That'd be busted. Oh, high potion. Okay. Um, let's get Kamari in here for an attack. Or a kill. All right, good crit, good crit. Oh, I should have leveled up before we went down here. It's too late now, though. I don't think there's a boss fight down here, though, so we should be fine. No, there's not. Okay, so there is an Albed Primer in this hallway, but we already have all of them, so we don't have to worry about that. Um... There also should be one up to the right here. I'm pretty sure if you miss these out bed primers, you can't get them, but don't quote me on that. You might be able to come back to home later when you can free roam. I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure. Like based on what, what's going to happen here pretty soon, it wouldn't make sense that you can, but I think you might be able to. That actually did a good amount of damage right there. I don't know when Kamari started doing damage, but I'm really happy to see it. Same with Waka. He's hitting over a 1k now, which is good for him. Oh, don't kill yourself. Okay, good. Take that. Easy. I forget what we run. We run into some, like, un... Some like pretty bad mobs, I think, down here somewhere. Yeah, so the Albed Primer is gone. Um, where does this go? No, not that way. Oh right, right, right. Oh god, it's a Chimera. Oh no, oh no. Two Chimeras. Okay, and a Guado. Um, do this. It's okay. Silence him so we can't cast any bullshit on us. Orin back out. I wonder how strong these guys are. I guess we're gonna find out. Hopefully it does less than 400 damage. It didn't, okay. We'll be on Waka, not Orin. Good. Okay, he's done. Let's do a magic break on him. Actually, I think they're not. I think I should have did a power break. It's fine though. Which one did I attack? Arctic winds. Those are good. Oh, this is going to hurt. Don't be on Riku though. Okay. Oh wait, that actually... Oh, he got magic broke. That's why. Um, maybe we should just top everybody off. That's probably not a bad idea. Slap him up a little bit. I have a feeling these guys have a lot of health based on how this is going so far. Still alive. Still alive. Can we delay his attack? That'd be cool. Yes, we can. Oh my god, these guys are tanky boys. Finally. Alright, you're good. Let's do... I 
I think we're good on lances from these things. We'll do it anyway, though, just to make sure. We are, okay. Bro, we have we have sensor now. Oh, they have 9k health. Holy shit. That's more that's more health than Seymour had for the record. Should be alright though. Alright, we're not gonna waste your overdrive for 2.5k. We'll just smack him down until he dies. Someone's trying to let's see here. We got a bot in chat trying to make me famous again, as always. It's like tradition now, at least one per stream. All right, what do we got here? Oh, the first digit is four plus one. The second digit is seven minus one. If you don't have all the Albed primers, this is a little weird because you can't see everything. Three times one. I think you can see the numbers still, but not all the words, obviously. Special sphere? Name the son of the Albed leader. Brother. Uh, Picknell. What is Albed and Albed? Albed. Bam! Skill sphere. What is this? Oh, just the. Oh, so it gives you the option to try to load a save in right here. <clears throat> if you've collected more primers on a different save. That's cool. Alright, that's done. There should be a save sphere over here somewhere. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna do the sphere grid for these guys. Get some more upgrades for everybody. Okay. Where is Kamari at? So where are we taking Kamari? We can go, we might as well just go this way right here. I have a feeling we're going to be moving him all over the place, so it's probably best just to get him some more health and, you know, damage, whatever we can do for right now. So I have a really uh, set idea for what I'm going to use Kamari for. I don't really plan on him being in my final party, so it's probably not that big of a deal anyway. That's a wonderful alarm they have also in the background constantly. <clears throat> Alright, Warren got some big upgrades too. That's 8 plus 8 strength. And he also learned Mental Break. Alright, so Riku can go... What's up here? Mug. And then what's down here? If I can click buttons. Dispel. That's actually not bad. Oh, so we're going to end up Reflect. You're a... Honestly, it's probably not a bad idea to get Riku some of those abilities. Just so she has some more flexibility in what she can do besides just steal stuff. I kind of like that idea too. Because there is, a, I think there's one or two more fights later on where Riku and Waka and Titus are in the water. So it would be super helpful for her to have a couple extra abilities that she normally wouldn't have. So let's get on this path with her. Should be fine either way. Waka and Titus will be strong enough to carry those fights regardless, I think. So even if Riku's build doesn't turn out to be very good, we should be fine. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, Osmos, okay. Um, so Waka's gonna go this way now? Yes. Oh my god, that alarm is still just constantly in the background. Alright, that's everybody. Cool. Go ahead and save. Pray for no green screens this time. We'll see what happens. Are you serious? As soon as I save... I'm not doing this. Um, okay. So, if we go... I'm trying to see what the right direction is. Okay, we're gonna go back here then. 
grab this. More owl bed potions for Riku. She damn near still has 90 of them, I think, now. We'll do this fight. Oh, I need to put Brotherhood back on um on Orin also. This is for the fallen. Damn, okay. Yuna, where are you? <laughs> Awkward voice line at the end of that fight. All right, so now we want to go this way. We'll, we'll just uh, touch that for a full heal and then go th through this door. Yes. Um, okay. So, oh, all right, let this play out. There's some more items in here to grab. All right. This place done for. You're right. You're right, Waka. We all bed. We... We weren't always like this. Sin destroyed the island where we all used <clears> to live. <throat> After that, we were scattered to every corner of Spira. But then, my dad brought the Albed together again. If we put our minds to it and work together, then we could make a new home. And they Everyone named it home. Hard. We had our home back again. But now... Why did things have to turn out this way? Riku. Look at Waka. Character <laughs> development. What are they thinking? Now we can hate Guado instead of Albed. Okay, so two chimeras again. My favorite. Let's speed Orin up. I should teach Orin haste the more I think about it. <clears throat> Whoa! That was 2,190 damage. Holy crap. Why is he so strong all, all of a sudden? Was it from that plus 8 strength or did Magic Break just do extra damage? I don't think the break abilities are supposed to make you stronger. Like your attack stronger. They just apply a debuff. Alright. Power break in. That with Riku. Ooh, Titus is still pretty low. I, I wonder if Slice and Dice, I feel like Slice and Dice does less damage than um, Viral Cut. Maybe not, because he hit, he's almost at the 2K already. I think he hit 2K right there. It's probably about the same, honestly. Ow. Holy shit. God damn. Give me those Arctic winds. I feel like these things still have a lot. Oh, never mind. Oh, 4K <laughs> crit. Okay. That changes the game a little bit. Debuff. Ooh, Orin's low on mana already. MP. That's better. Cast it on Orin too. Hey, perfect. Gotta keep everybody healthy here. Let's get uh Ooh, Kamoria's is alt. Or overdrive. Um actually let's get Lulu some some action here. Are they weak to anything? Uh, we're gonna use Blizzara on him. Yes. Orin is hitting fucking hard now. Good to see. Um, there is an item. They're all down here. Okay. Riku. What is the Summoner's Sanctum? The Summoner's Sanctum is where we keep the Summoners. We keep them safe <clears> there. You kidnapped them. 
I know it's against the teachings and all that. I get why you did it, but... Well, I sure don't get it, Walker. Oh, no. They might get hurt on their pilgrimage. Here we go. So you kidnap them? Revelation time. I mean, if the summoners don't do their job, then who will beat Sin? You want to protect them, I know. But guardians are there for that. If guardians do their job well, summoners will be safe. I mean, he's like half right. Right? It's quiet. Kimari goes now. He's like, nah, this is awkward. I'm leaving. I thought somebody told him here. I guess not. Maybe they tell him later. That's probably what it is. Uh, you can only imagine how awkward that is. <laughs> Ooh, that guy didn't, he didn't have a good, a good day at all. All right, let's grab these uh, chests down here. There should be two of them, I think. Got this guy. And then there is one more back in this corner, I think. There it is. She's not here. Hello again. Wait there until we have performed the sending. They died. Protecting us. It's not much, but the least we can do is give them a proper sending. There are a lot of bodies in that room. Hey, um, what sacrificed? The Albed said summoners were being sacrificed. That summoners shouldn't have to do a pilgrimage. Why couldn't they trust guardians to protect the summoners? The Albed had no right stopping their pilgrimage. The pilgrimages have to stop. If they don't, and they get to Xanarkin, they might defeat Sin. Uni could... But then she... This blows your mind the first time you hear it. Uni will die, you know? You know, don't you? Summoner's journey to get the final Aeon. Yuna told you, didn't she? With the final Aeon, she can beat Sin. But then... But then... If she calls it, then the final Aeon's gonna kill her. Even if she defeats Sin, it will kill Uni too, you know? Yeah, Titus's world just got a little rocked right there. We didn't know. Tell me why. Why were you hiding it? Why didn't I know? We weren't hiding it. It was just too hard to say. You would think Oren would have told him. to stop her she follows her heart you know she knew what she was doing 
when she chose to become a summoner. To face sin, yeah? You know, knew. But Waka, that's just totally wrong. Summoners shouldn't have to sacrifice themselves. Just so the rest of Spirit can be happy, right? And that's how fiends are made. But that is our choice. We all live in fear of sin, you know that. A world without sin. That is the dream of all Yevon's children. And we will use that power even if it means our lives. I don't know where Valfor came from right there. He literally flew through the wall. Yo, what's up, TZ? We're in a pretty emotional moment right now. Balfour's trying to hug him, but his wings don't... He can't... He, it's like he's stuck. You find out that summoners die when they go to fights... Like, when they summon the final Aeon to, to, to defeat Sin. And Titus is like, oh shit. I didn't know Yuna was going to die this whole time. That's not cool. You got pretty good. <clears throat> so he's kind of like in shock right now. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm -hmm. I really don't think that's going to help this time. Do we get the laughing scene again? Mm -hmm. I think we do. It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah, I understand. I think. Right, now let's see what you can do. Oh, no laughing scene. Never mind. Oh, is it muted though? <laughs> they don't make you listen to it twice. I wonder what that scene sounds like in Japanese because it's different voice actors. So I wonder if it's as cringy as it is in like to be full of laughter with the with the uh, English voice actors I can't let her die I'll find her We probably should also run away. I think we just leave now. Um, there, yeah, there's oh no, there's an item in this one or a chest in here. Some monies. I don't know why someone left ten thousand gil in the corner here, but they did. Okay, so we are done in home now. It's a pretty pretty short section. Please, no green screen here, game. Come on, work with me for the airship. It's actually a pretty cool scene. I said, where is she? Answer me, answer me, damn you! What do you do when you find her, eh? 
I... I... I didn't know anything about what a summoner is... is supposed to do. And I told her all those things without even knowing. I've got to tell her. I've got to tell her I'm sorry! That's it? You're gonna tell her you're sorry? And then you just drag her to Zanakand and make her fight Sheen, huh? <laughs> you're all the same. Let the summoner die so we can live in peace! <laughs> they call Sin Shin. No! At least Sid does. Ah, words! Show me action! I'm telling you, she won't die! Boy, don't forget those words. Because if you do... I'm going to make you regret it. Remember, he is Yuna's uncle. I won't. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Real cutscene. So you know where Maybe. she is? Of course not. That's why we're going to look. Using this airship. Airship? That's the airship we saw at the very beginning of the game whenever we helped Riku and brother on their ship. Yo, brother's head is shaking real hard right there. Okay, it's working. Thank goodness. I was worried it wouldn't. This is a pretty cool scene. The original home scene, you just see fiends flying around home and it being on fire like it is right now. But this scene's actually pretty badass, so I was hoping we wouldn't have to miss it. Oh no. Oh. So it does, it like has a transition. Okay, we're still good. Whew. I hate this is, th that this is even a thing, but I, I don't, there's no way to fix it from everything that I looked online. Like I thought the admin thing would work, but apparently it doesn't work in all instances because it messed up last time. Oh, okay, here's the part that's cool. Yeah, the airship has missiles on it, which are pretty badass. I like when Final Fantasy's crossover, like, they're fighting with swords and, and like, magic, but also we have all these advanced weapons, like, like these guided missiles and an airship. Hey, look, don't get so down. Boom! <laughs> like happy oh, festival. That's fire, probably not appropriate. Yeah? Waka, come on, man. You can cram your happy festival, you big meanie. Read the room, dude.
All right, so we got the airship now for a little bit. I think it might let you go back some places or I'm not, I don't remember if you're locked in right now to where you're going or if you're able to travel around yet. I think you might be locked in still. I'm okay. I'm fine. Really? All right, so we're done with all of this. Yeah, I think we're locked in for right now. Yeah, I think we are. Did you find out anything about Yuna? We're looking into it, okay? Don't worry, I'm using a sphere of silifinder. If she's out there, we'll get her. Of course. A sphere of silifinder? It's an ancient machina. I don't know how it works either, so don't ask me, okay? And you still use it? <laughs> I don't even rightly know how this rig flies <laughs> either. <gasps> Our cousin they give on taboo on Makina, we're running around in the dark here. Ain't it a rush, kiddo? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's talk to everybody. My, wait, I thought you can walk down to brother. Am I like, oh, is it just right here? Yeah. So we can recruit brother to play with us. Oh wait, how much? Is it? Two ten. We can we can afford that right now. So we have to release a player. Um. Probably want to. So brother is a forward, I think. So bye, Bada. Even though Bada was super good in the tournament, he's gone. R.I.P. We're powerless as long as we're on this ship. I don't know about that now. That's probably our best bet to find you know. Otherwise, we walk everywhere and that would take forever. I can't believe we're flying through the sky in this. A machina. I can't believe we're flying. I can't tell if he's happy or upset about it. Remember this ship? <clears throat> it's the one we found under the sea. Remember this ship? All right, Orin. Orin's being edgy in the back here. Whether Yuna's safe or not, there's trouble brewing. Whether Yuna's safe. Okay. I think we're supposed to explore the airship now. Kimari never forget the Albert sacrifice. Kimari will use Machina if Machina can find Yuna. Kimari never forget. I think he's the only person with two voice lines there. He has to make up for lost time though. I think this is a uh, yeah, it's an Albert psych. Ooh, the whole team's here. I think. Yep. These guys always end up kicking my ass. So we'll see if it happens again this time. We owe our lives to the Albed. However, no matter how they beg, we cannot quit our pilgrimage. Even though you'll die? I've known since I was a child. My will is set. That's kind of dark. If I do not do it, someone else must, you understand. <clears throat> But what he's saying is pretty admirable, though. He, he wants to do it so someone else doesn't have to die. Hey, I'm not looking forward to my brother dying when this is all over. If only there was some way of doing it without anyone dying. Let's think of one. Easier said than done. If we had all the time in the world, yeah, we'd think of something. And while we were thinking, sin would kill us all. Spira doesn't have that time. Let him rest. Yeah, he's also in shock right now. The Albed caught up to us in Besaid. They grabbed Passe, so we had to do what they said. We needed a break anyway. Passe was pretty tired. He should never have come on the pilgrimage, little kid like that. Still, he does pretty good for his size. He's gonna be something someday. All right, let's go explore the rest of the ship. Hey, there's Rin. Well, well, it appears you too have escaped harm. You were on the ship too? I came to home to pick up some goods and found myself here. Quite the escape. <sighs> Thankfully, my goods were spared. Please let me know if you need any of my wares. Does he extort us here? Oh, actually he's not, okay. I thought that he did for some reason. Okay, so that is actually a straight upgrade for... Waka? Put that on. I almost want to put this on Titus as well for more health. Yuna's fine. It's funny how you can still buy stuff for Yuna even though she's not in the party. Um, Lulu is better with her 8 MP on that one. 
Mari is good. Orin can use this. Same way. Then we can Thank add. You. Your patronage is very much appreciated. All proceeds will go to help restore hope. If there's anything I can help you with in the future, just ask. Ace, uh, we topped. Janokut. Weeraja fam may not win Dukia. Eiko, Ulu we goofed for an elk. Oh shit. Dot reg drat shofunt lusa. Drid falum timgu. Edix wo wicked hot. Ace ribidu. Rana in the cod. Okay, so that's what you would have gotten later in the game, more than likely, once you collected all the Albed primers. Drigwe. That's cool that you can do it here now, though. Uh, I don't actually know. What does Underdog Secret do? I, it's probably for an Aeon upgrade, I'm guessing. But I want to see. Okay, so it's unknown right now. So I bet if we went into... Not customize. How do you do Aeons? Good abilities? Yeah. Let's see if there's anything interesting we can learn here now. It's probably some wild ability. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I don't actually know what they're used for right now then. Unless we just don't have... We can't, like, use them yet because it's too early in the game. Oh, either way. So maybe just Awaka is the one who, who extorts the uh, Crusaders during their battle. Maybe Rin's actually not that bad. Oh, there's Donna. Wait, where's Bartello? Look, I'm really tired. Leave me. If it's not an emergency, would you mind leaving? <sighs> okay. Wait. Uh, there's something I want to ask you. Uber Jazz, not with her. What would you think if I said I, I was giving up my pilgrimage? Oh, it makes me, uh... Oh boy, um, Donna's kind of an asshole. Do we say who cares or sure sounds good to me? Who cares? Show some sympathy. Oh, like all the sympathy you showed me first time we met. <sighs> You're right. Quitting now would be sort of anticlimactic, no? Tell Yuna something, would you? Tell her she still has a rival. Me. Tell her she'd better do her best or be bested. You'll tell her, won't you? Um, where is Bartello at, though? Thanks for the company. Oh, you're welcome. Bartello, where are you? Is he actually not here? Oh, God. Did he die? I don't think he's dead. What's up, dude? The time for tears. We must rebuild home. Chased by fiend. We are all very tired and very scared. At home, we must live on. I'll have to be able... <clears throat> okay, so there must not be anything in this room. Wait, what's this little dude have to say? Wait, am I talking to him? I hit my head when the ship shook and I have a lump. Oh, no. Okay. I'm kind of concerned that she didn't mention Bartello's not with her. Aw. When, when will we go home? The ship is actually home now. So, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to come up here. Oh, maybe not yet. <clears throat> Your face. I've seen it before. Perhaps in the temple at Baj. Oh, he was with Riku. That's cool. It is odd to fly in a ship dragged from the ocean floor. But we say lose something precious, find something even more precious. What will I do? My doll. I left it at home. Well, it's gone now. I think it's interesting to see how, how like this airship is actually enormous. Okay, so we must have to talk to Sid again. After rescuing there we Luna, go. Then what? You want to keep her safe, correct? Would you seek to stop her pilgrimage? Of course! If she continues this fool pilgrimage, she will die. He's sure true. as if you killed her yourself. No harebrained law or teaching could send my little niece <clears throat> to her death. When I save her, I'll make her give up being a summoner quicker than a desert melts ice. Even against her will? Better than a dog's death. And I'll take down anyone who don't agree. You 
are the captain. Good! Then it's settled. Whew. All right. Glad well, that's, uh, we walked in on that lovely conversation. Let him say what he wants. Let him s All right, Orin. I mean, it's pretty obvious that Yuna wouldn't quit her pilgrimage at this point. Okay. He called Yuna his uh, niece, right? I mean, so that makes her our bed, right? <gasps> oh no, Waka. Don't say it. Yuna's Yuna, right? Wow, dude. He's in such denial right now. No matter what happens, Yuna won't give up her pilgrimage. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious. First, we rescue Yuna. Let's show him what we got. Do I leave? Is that the... Let him sit. Yuna should make Yuna's decision. I, I, Kamari's not wrong. Yuna should... I know at some point, let's see here. All right. I think we're supposed to use the Ocilla Finder. First, we rest. Or maybe we just leave all together for right now and come back. I feel like I missed the conversation or something. That's why it hasn't advanced forward yet. Let's just run back up here real quick. I know there's a, there's a cutscene by the windows at some point, but I don't think we should see it yet. Okay. So it's something over here. And I did not realize, so depending on how you answer Donna's question that she asked us, it, it, it changes the way you see her later in the game. So I don't actually know. I guess based off what I said, we're probably going to see her in Xanarkin as a summoner still later on. Hey, Sid, can we like First, we rest do something here? Like, what are we doing? What's going on? Brother? There we go. Yuna! This is actually really fucked up. He's dead for the record, guys. Where was that? The palace of St. Bavel, heart of Yevon. Oh yeah, we're storming Chris, the capital. Let's move. Easy, kiddo. Bavel's defenses are top notch. Cause they're allowed to use Machina. What's the matter, Gramps? Are you scared? Yuna's there, so we go and get her. And that's all. <laughs> you got guts. God, Louis can do my well. Fim, come on, hear it. Luca. It'll take a while to get to Bavel. Meanwhile, we prepare for battle. All right. What's Seymour doing alive? Didn't we take care of him in Macalania? He is dead, as dead as Jiskel was. His attachment to this world kept him from the next. And he wasn't sent. Oh, scary. So apparently if you're attached enough, you can like keep your form instead of just turning into a fiend. Um, I guess based off what we're seeing happening with Seymour right here, if you're not sent, obviously. The city of Bavel is built on the water. There may be underwater fighting. You or Riku should study your magic, just in case. That actually is a good hint for what we're going to have later on. I'm glad Yuna's okay and all, but what's with those fancy clothes? Come on, dude. It's called a wedding dress. What? <laughs> ah, what's going on? So oblivious. Seymour is one of the dead now. Odd. 
Why does Maester Micah allow the unsent to walk free? Dude, I did not realize Lulu drops all kinds of subtle hints to what you're going to find out later in the game. The city of Bevel is you or Riku The water thing and the undead thing also is another that's another important thing she mentions right there. You must be Wonder if that'll work. Perhaps he won't expect it. Bevel. It's been 10 years. Yeah, we're going to save Uni and nobody's going to stop us. Yeah. All right. Bevel. I think we're supposed to try to leave now. Yep, there we go. We are being attacked from within. Some of the Guado that attacked home must have snuck on board. <laughs> That's super unlucky. I am calm about most things. Fucking Rin. Beans, there's nothing to do but, but destroy the ship and all the men together. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta learn a little restraint, Pops. If you crash the ship, we can't go rescue Uni. Leave the fiends to us professionals. Yeah, let's go. Thanks. Riku, you've made some very good friends, I think. Good luck. All right, let's do it. I think we just need to fight our way back to the to the uh, the window area. Oh wait, I thought, I thought you, maybe you can't even fight fiends on board then. I thought you had to, but maybe not. Do the Yevon worms think to kill us all? It is a battle most dangerous. Take this with you. Thanks, dude. There we go. Huh. Now there's a rare sight. It's pretty badass, actually. Whoa, that's huge. What is that? The guardian worm, Evre. The great sacred beast, protector of Bavel. That is pretty bad badass they have a dragon. The red carpet has teeth. Wait, that means we're close to Bavel. Riku, you read me! We're gonna fight that thing! <laughs> Get on deck and show him what you got! Go! There he goes again. The ferryman asks a high price. Okay, so here's the deal. We're going to fight Evray, obviously, right now. But if the cutscene messes up afterwards, I'm going to reload. Because it's a badass cutscene that leads to another badass cutscene. I don't want to miss either of them. Open the hatch. We fight. Evray is truly mighty. Be well prepared. Um, I don't think we really... I'll buy one of those. Two. Um... I, th I do remember he he uh, can cause um, petrification, but other than that, I think we're okay. If we lose, you'll die too, buddy. I have faith in your. <laughs> Gee, thanks. That's not as bad as a Waka with the uh, crazy prices. Like, oh, at least the uh, Rin's prices were still like normal for this encounter we're about to have. Because a Waka like hikes them up like ten percent or something like that. Or more than 10%, like two or three times the normal price. Uh, back Way back when, uh, whenever they had the uh, Crusaders were fighting Sin. Okay, so we're going to fight Ev right now. Ba Dude, back when I played this game originally, so I was like super young, I had the worst time trying to beat this boss for some reason. It's like not even that hard of a boss. I just could not do it for some... I don't know why. Um, Let's do this to start off with. This is a pretty cool boss fight, though. The mechanic for it's really cool. Oh, yeah. We got missiles. Also, Ever got a long ass tail. Look at that. We gotta keep our distance, boys, but we can't let her get too far away. Y'all have to tell me when to move. Kamari's thinking very hard right there. I didn't put brother, Brotherhood on Titus yet either. I need to do that. But tell me quick, huh? This rig ain't so nimble, you hear? 
Roger. I'll give the commands. Not alone, you won't. Oh, I guess we could have probably had Orin in the party to start off with, being that Everett is so close to us. So just explaining to use the trigger command to move back and forth. I don't think we want to right now. There's a point when you want to do it, and I'll see if I can remember when it is without using the guide. You can't see now. That did a lot of damage to him. Walk is hitting real hard. So there's Sid. You, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, yeah, right below the mic right here. So like right there, you can see Sid's face. So if you pull back before it's his turn, he'll fire missiles. Um, I don't think you can cast bio on every, but we'll try. Now he's immune. That makes sense. Oh, magic is not going to be friendly to him. Whatever. So let's actually do this. So now he'll move the ship whenever it's his turn. I forget if Evray gets to do an attack whenever we're far away, or if it has to, like, maybe he waits a turn, or she waits a turn, then does it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Photon Spray, okay. Alright, let's just throw Waka in. I have no idea why Waka is so strong right now. I guess he got a lot more uh, attack bone, attack, uh, attack ups. I guess you can call them, or plus fours or plus twos or whatever on the sphere grid than I realized. Um, we could do mix on this guy. Let's do. Um, why don't we do two Arctic winds? Oh, you can mix them with with Riku. I wonder if that's what you're supposed to use Underdog Secret for. Be ice attack. Oh, wait. Oh, is it because it's too far away? Really? Okay. That's unfortunate. This is it. Here we go. I like this. I think you get two or three bursts. Yeah, so three. We silence every? No. Did I waste those Arctic winds? Oh, I did. That sucks. Whatever. Not that big of a deal. All right, let's go ahead and pull Titus out. I want to put a haste on Walker for this fight. Being that he's doing so much damage, might as well. Let's, at least, let's uh, let Kamari do an attack. I think we can use... Actually, let's just use Lancet for right now. Whenever Evray comes closer, we'll do um, his overdrive. Which Evray should use an ability to, to get closer to us at some point. Instead of just spamming Photon Ray. Alright, so apparently you can throw your Blitzball that far, but you cannot kick it that far for the um, elemental, elemental reel. Look at that, that's wild. Um, oh, go again. Yeah. All right. Still photon spraying us, okay. Maybe it's after a certain amount of health. Because I think every cast haste on itself, possibly. I mean it's it's at like alright, so now I think it's at half health. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can do it. Um probably seed cannon? 
No, out of range, okay. It's gonna freak out at some point here, right? I'm guessing the, the trigger event is its health dropping, not so many turns. All right, so let's go ahead and move the ship closer now. Closer. Just a and we can leave you in for one more turn. Probably should have just used haste on Titus right there. Wait, why didn't Sid move? All right, uh, I guess we'll try to use Lulu's overdrive. See what I can get. Oh, come on. Well, that's really bad. <laughs> I think it did the same amount of damage as the regular attacks do. We are very close to Ebre's face. Jump! Oh, there it is. I think I can cast slow on it. Yes, okay. That's bad. Okay, I do remember that. When it, when it roars is bad. You want to pull back now. Oh, too late. Okay. Oh my god. That's such a waste of a Mega Phoenix, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Oh no, Orin's petrified! Well, at least he punched Titus. Um, Soft on him. Okay, so we're gonna get. This is not good. <laughs> um, how much health does that have left? I wonder. Ten thousand. I don't think we can do that much damage to it. Try. I don't think this will do quite enough damage. Yeah. All right, let's get you out of there, though. I don't know if putting Riku in is right. Okay, we do. So we actually can do something cool with her mixing ability here. I think if we do Lunar and Light on us, we get a big buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might help with this Poison Breath attack right here. Yeah, see? Or we got a lot of health left. Smack him. Oh, 2k damage. God damn. Uh, Waka. Let's just switch you out for right now. Get haste on Riku. Oh, wait. Why does she have haste on herself already? Did I do that already? Yes, I did. Albed potion, I believe, gets rid of poison. Yes. Oh, they also have regen applied to them right now. Okay. Oh, we should do this real quick. Just to know. Water gem. That, that was a risky steal for no reason. Try again. Ooh, more water gems. Completely worth, in my opinion. All right. I don't know if this will kill him or not. He's got to be real close to death. Oh, overkill. There we go. And Orin learns Slayer. All right. Fingers crossed this cutscene works. It's super cool. I don't want to do this boss fight again if I don't have to. Crude, 
Kenya will kick for fun! Brown! A copper bell! Alright, we're good. Probably one of the most badass scenes in the entire game right here. I believe that's from Evray right there. Oh wait, it's the next part. Oh crap, hopefully it works. I think it's funny how the, 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 the church is allowed to use weapons. Like there's a freaking robot right there they're using against us. Those things hurt too. Okay, this is what I was talking about being badass. Like, we're getting married right now. Imagine if we saved the missile barrage for this. This would be terrifying. Look at that's wild. Thankfully, the Yevon troopers and cutscenes have the accuracy of stormtroopers in Star Wars, also. Not gonna lie, Seymour is a lot less intimidating in that outfit than the Deep V. Alright, we have to put Brotherhood on. I cannot forget that. Also, I'm not sure. Yeah, you have no save point here. Look at that. They're like, nah, you die here. You're, you're fighting Evray again. Okay. Equip you with Brotherhood. Did I pass it up? I did. There it is. Everybody else, I think, is good with what they have on right now. Yeah, that's still your best weapon. Still your best weapon. Your best weapon. And I think Hunter Spear. Yeah, Hunter Spear is definitely your best weapon still. Cool. Um, I think we're good, so let's... Yeah, that, that party's fine. Let's do it. Stay right there, Seymour! Um... Oh, big crit. Those flamethrower flame thro troopers suck, too, because they do... They, they hit the whole party when they fire at you. Um, I, it is really funny how the church is allowed to use guns, flamethrowers, and giant robots with cannons on their arms, though. Alright, so physical damage is the way to go with these guys. Um, let's go with... Not, 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 not Valfour. Let's go walk it in the middle. <clears throat> Being that he's hitting so hard. Oh no. So those guys right there with the, with the, the Hitmonlee dude, looking dude, he can actually permanently remove one of your characters from the fight, which is super annoying. I 
I don't think we can blind him either. Bonk. They also bonk you. Oh, here it comes. Oh, no. Alright, power broke it. Can Titus finish it? Yes, he can. Ooh, damn. 1500, that's not bad. 1458, whatever. Um, Alright, so you probably... Actually, we just take this guy out, then we heal. Uh, when we're out of combat. So, the more I'm looking at it, it seems like the green screens are happening, like, later in the stream. So, like, in the first two hours of the stream, it's fine, but, like, when it's, like, it, like past two and a half hours or so, it seems like when we get a, a CGI cutscene, it goes green for some reason. I have no idea why that would happen. That makes absolutely no sense for timing-wise. All right, this set is not too bad. I'm actually kind of surprised that they didn't give any characters guns in this in on your on your party, being that the enemy obviously uses guns. Now you get that in X2 with Yuna. Well, with everybody. And so with Titus's overdrive, you basically want to use it every time that it's up because you want to unlock his next overdrive, which is just gated behind using the overdrive so many times. Um. All right, this one is still not too bad. We're okay still. Bonk. Oh, he didn't get to go before these guys still? That sucks. Oh, wait. All right, so B, you're dead. Oh, no. Who's he killing? No, oh, Orin! Come back! Ooh, Kamari is not doing the job. All right, we're good. Yeah, so you kind of permanently lose a character. It's kind of like that one Final Fantasy VII fight, too. Whichever weapon that is in that game that does that. I can't remember which one it is right off the top of my head. Um, pretty soon, we're going to get a like cannon robot guy. There he is. Remember, cut the ones that matter. I know, I know. It's gonna hurt if it shoots us. There's a lot of damage. Oh, we're good. Not quite, actually. Um, we're actually gonna throw in Lulu to kill this thing, because I don't want to deal with it. Is it weak to it's weak to one weak to fire? For why would a robot be weak to fire? Well it has okay. Maybe. It says times 1.5, but it only did 468 damage. I would say maybe it's weak to fire because it has like explosive rounds in it and when they heat up they blow up, but I don't I don't know. It didn't do much damage right there. I don't know when Waka got that strong, but he's like fucking people up right now. All right, we got another cutscene coming up. Fingers crossed. This has gone far enough. Stop. I 
don't know where she was hiding her staff at. You would play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Your resolve is admirable. All the more fitting to be my lovely wife. <laughs> Stop! Do you not value your friends' lives? Wow, Maester Micah. It's a little fucked up, man, being the lead head priest and you're acting like that. Your actions determine their fate. Protect them, or throw them away. The choice is yours. All right, here we go. He needs to clip his nails. That's not weird at all. Kill them. I mean, what did you think was going to happen? Oh, maybe it's not a CGI cutscene. Perhaps I'm remembering incorrectly. I'm sorry, but it is for Yevon. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? There are exceptions. Dude, he's shaking that gun real hard. No! Throw down your weapons. Let them go. Or else. Only exceptions when we need them. Exactly. It's very hypocr hypocritical. That's for sure. Leave now, please. You're coming with us. Where do you want him to go? Don't worry, go. Kind of stuck right now. Foolish. If you fall, you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I can fly. Believe. Yuna! Oh, there we go. Good catch, Valfor. Cover your eyes. Flashbang. What? What? 
was that? An Abed flash bomb. Let me go. I'm gonna kill that Seymour. Probably not the right time for that. Said leave. We leave. We'll join up with her later. Break through. <laughs> Where'd Uni go? The Bell Palace is Temple. Yuna goes to one place only. And of course, the of the faith. being the Bevel is the capital, they have like one of the bat most badass Aeons there. Also, the whole temple uses Machina, which is hilariously ironic, like everything it's else. Too quiet. A trap? Who cares? Yuna's waiting for us. Huh? What's a Machina doing in the temple? I suppose it comes in handy. That's not what I mean. The teachings. What about the teachings? Hey, don't look at me. It's like they're controlling the people and not telling them the whole truth. Can I go to the save sphere? No. Okay. I feel like something bad happens here. Oh, no, maybe not. Not yet, at least. Another Machina? Man. So this is Yevon's true face. They betray their own teachings. <sighs> they treated us like dirt. Uh, poor Waka. He's getting a lot of uh, revelations that aren't, aren't going to sit very well with him. Ideologically, at least. The entrance to the trials. I wonder if Uni's really in there. I thought we had to do something else before Let's this. Let's go and see. Let's go. Hmm. I guess not. Okay, this cloister of trials is a pain in the ass, if I remember correctly. It's a. It's a pretty complex one in comparison to the others. Even the ice one. The ice one was pretty easy compared to this one. But it is the last one that we have to do. I think. No, there's one more later on. But this is the worst. All right, let's see. All right, let's see how bad I can mess this up. So essentially you're always like on a conveyor belt and you have to stop at different points and turn at different points. So it's funny, their whole cloister of trials is a giant mock in a puzzle. I think we want to turn right here. Hopefully. I think we, was, we want to keep going this way now. This one took me a while back in the day without the, without using the guide. Cause it, it's, it's kind of, there's like different layers, like or levels, I guess not layers to it. And it's just not very straightforward. Okay, we got that Bavel Sphere. Put it in the pedestal. And then head back on our way. So we should end up back at the top, I think. Or maybe we, now we will. And then I think I want to turn right. Oh, is the choose for you? God damn. All right. All right. So let's put one of the Bavel spheres in here. And that should make something happen. Then we want to go this way and turn all the way around. I, I keep looking down because I'm following the guide for this, so I don't I don't have to do it more than once. Oh, 
Got it. Okay, let's grab this guy. And place it here. Then we want to go all the way back and start over now. So we just let it go. This will restart you from the beginning now. We want to turn right up here now. I missed it. It's fine. We're just going to keep going now. Going to reset and do it again. I don't, the timing gets a little weird with these left at least turns also, as you can see right there. See, like, it's, it's like not on. Let's just try this. Let's go back this way and make a left instead of a right. There we go. Then I want to go left here if possible. I think we want, we want to just follow this all the way down now. Maybe not. Hold on now. I'm not sure. Okay, I think that was right, what I just did there. So we're going to grab this now. And place it here. And that should make us a pathway right here. And then we... I th I think we might need another Bevel Sphere for there. Um, or maybe we just touch the glyph? No? Okay, so we don't have... That's the Okay, that's the path to the uh, Destruction Sphere for this one. Okay, so let's go back this way. Alright, so we're going to start over now. And we're going to go to the second to last glyph and turn right. Which I think is not this one, but the next one. Yeah. Fuck. I missed it. It was like, it was still pointed for forward when we passed over it. I didn't want to grab that, so. Try again. It doesn't help that everything looks the same here too. So it's really easy to get turned around if you don't know what you're doing. Kind of like I am right now, if I wasn't using the guide. There, oh, I... All right, I'll get it one of these times. And I wonder why I never completed the lightning dodge challenge. Dude, I, I'm pressing it. Maybe I need to press it a little bit earlier then. I'm not sure when it like locks in for you. I think you could be like, it's pretty forgiving in that respect. Nope, it's not. All right. Attempt number five. Surely I'll get it. God damn it. You distracted me, Cookie. <laughs> oh, I got that one, of course. The one I don't want. All right, try again. That was actually very well timed. Dude, like, it was right. It started laughing as soon as I pressed the button. Or was about to press the button. Uh, we can. Alright, we have to go off the edge. Okay. All right, here we go. Attempt number six or seven. Dude, we're still forward. Okay. <laughs> Literally just a button, a timed button press. 
I'm good at QTEs. They call called QTEs? Quick time events. Yeah, QTEs. I'm just not good at this one, apparently. Finally, huh. Oh. You have to wait to start it. I think, yeah, I think that's what it was actually, Cookie. If you go too fast, it won't be lined up right. All right, give me this Glyph Sphere. All right, so we're taking that Glyph Sphere out and what are we doing then? Oh, it depends on where the arrow is pointing when you start. Oh, okay. I don't think I ever looked into it that much, but that's good to know. Because that would have made that whole uh, exercise in pressing a button a lot easier. Um, okay. Where was I at? Turn around the path of the glyph sphere, place it in the pedestal, then. Oh, God. Back to the path. Okay, so we're going to put the glyph sphere into that, that opening. We, the, the, uh, the purple glyph, it was at the top. Right here. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Boom. Oh, I got it. You had to look into it because you were also running into the same thing as I was. Yeah, so I think in the past, I probably just kept trying over and over again until it worked out one time and never really thought to look into that. But that was actually that's a really good tip. Especially if it's your first time doing it, that'd be nice to know. Give me that destruction sphere. Excuse me. Come on. There you go. Okay, so we might not want to do that actually. Hold on, let me see here. Ta -da, take the sphere and go to the path. Okay, so we don't need this Pavel sphere with, right, that's right here then. That's what I was concerned about. Okay, so the destruction sphere needs to go where the glyph sphere is. Was. That is not the direction I wanted to go. Well, I guess we're going down here. We're just going to go back up. I think we're actually going to come up on an Aeon boss battle pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Not too long from now. No one needs this trash summon anyway. How could you say that? This is one of the most bad. Well, I'd say he's my second favorite summon of this game. Yojimbo being number one. And then honestly, I think Shiva's my third. I know Shiva's your favorite. There we go. Okay, so if you started with it pointing to the right already, you're going to get the right then probably. Is what it looked like right there. Yeah, I, th I think Yojimbo is definitely my favorite. I really like the... Uh, there's a, a dungeon in Final Fantasy XIV where you actually fight him. Um, some dude pays him to show up and fight you and him and, uh, and the dog I think the dog's name is Diagoro the, the same name as the attack they show up and uh, you have to fight them and part of, the, part of the fight is to collect money that he throws on the ground it's a pretty cool fight alright so we did that okay I think we want to just start over now Okay, so we have to get two Bavel spheres for this next part. You wish the Magus scissors weren't as random as they are? If you, you mean like, so you could actually control what abilities they use instead of just hoping for the best? Yeah, they're really, they're real. I mean, they're like, one. Well, I think they probably are the strongest summon. If you go off of, if you remove Yojimbo's ability to one-shot every boss in the game because of a mechanic, I would say they're probably the strongest summon in the game. 
Them or Anima, obviously. One, one of them have to be the strongest, I think, based off like raw overdrive damage. But I guess if you level up, if you would level up Yuna all around the map, they all probably do like the same amount of damage or something. I never did that, so I don't know. All right, so what do we want to do now? We want to go all the way to the bottom, I think. We have two Bavel Spheres, which is what we wanted there. Okay. Maybe that wasn't right. Hold on. All right, ride the platform off the end of the lower path to start again at the beginning at the second glyph, which you haven't used before. Turn right, push the pedestal across the platform and ride it to the end where the new path lies. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Is there a certain point in the story where Yuna's fear grid is no longer linked to her summons? I actually don't know the answer to that, Cookie. I thought it always was. Um, I know to like, uh, the when it, so it is no longer linked there. The one thing that you control with other characters for summons is their is their um, damage limits, but I thought that Yuna's sphere grid was always linked to them. I could be wrong though. I never uh, looked into that before. I mean, you 100% don't need it maxed out or anything for it to work out for you though. So that's probably why. I mean, that's why I've never had to look into it. Um, that would be interesting to know though. So if you would max Yuna out, eventually at some point that wouldn't do anything for you. Did I go this way already? No, we did not go this way yet. Okay, we're going to cross now. <clears throat> but then again, we, we're learning all, all kinds of new stuff this playthrough. I didn't know that there was like a, a relationship counter in the game, essentially. Or, pre, or uh, yeah, I guess you could, you call it a relationship counter, more or less. That's what it, what it is. So. Affection. I guess it'd be an affection counter. That's probably the right word for that. Okay, so we have... Let me just see here. We have the glyph sphere we need. That's our that's our destruction sphere unlock, unlockable. But if we put this here... That's the item we wouldn't have been able to get otherwise, I think. So, okay, there we go. All right, cool. We've solved the puzzle. Let's see what we get over here. I actually don't know what it is. Probably something for Yuna, if I had to guess. Oh, it's actually a Nightlands for Kamari. Okay, cool. And that's it. Can we actually check that out? We can. So Hunter Spear does piercing sensor strength plus 10. Night Lance is a lot of strength buffs. Yeah, you can have that for sure. All right. Bavel, Cloister Trials know? is over. Inside maybe? Then what are we standing here for? <laughs> it's a very heavy door. You can stuff your taboos. Yeah, I think we're past that at this point. Hey, we know that little dude. What, what's that? <laughs> you, you've faith. literally seen him before. They join with the summoner and together receive the Aeon. They are human souls imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest.
Yeah, give them some space, Orin. Let them have a moment. Wait! Don't come out! <laughs> There's the last of them. You are to stand trial. Imagine this man is the one sen sentencing I you to death. It will be a fair trial. <laughs> oh, he like just has the most of punchable face. Bahamut. Thank you. And we will save the current game. Time to go to jail. The High Court of Yevon is now in session. The sacred offices of this court seek nothing but absolute truth in Yevon's name. To those on trial, believe in Yevon and speak only the truth. Maester Kelk Ronso. Summoner Yuna. You have sworn to protect the people of Yevon. True. You hate Kenox so much? Same yes. here. Then he is the worst, for sure. You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado. Literally, he's dead. Conspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. I don't think Kelk knows that, though, at this point. These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. Tell this court what possessed you to participate in such violence. Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. He killed his father Jiskel with his own hands. Gasp. What is this? Hmm? Haven't you heard? <laughs> Not only that, Maester Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the far plane. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. This might be a conflict of interest. Send the unsent <clears throat> to where they belong? Yes. <laughs> Maester? Send the dead? Hmm? I wonder how they hide that the whole time. <laughs> you would have to send me to. Probably for the best. What? Oh, yeah. We're corrupted Grand the whole way through. Mr. Micah is a wise leader. Even in oh, he did now. Okay. Invaluable to Spira. <laughs> Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. Life is but a passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die. Even continents perish. Only the power of death truly commands in spirit. Resisting its power is futile. But what of sin? I am a summoner, my lord. Like my father before me. I am on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Are you... Are you telling me that too is futile? Grand Maester Micah, I am not alone. All the people who have opposed sin, their battles, their sacrifices, were they all in vain? 
Not in vain. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. Their rebirth cannot be stopped. Yet the courage of those who fight gives the people hope. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. Never futile, but never ending. If only Huna's hair moved, I know, right? Indeed, that is the essence of Imagine a full remake of this game. Not, I was going to say remaster, but this is the remaster technically. But if they just like redid it yes, in a new graphics engine. Embodied by eternal, unchanging continuity. No. That can't be right. Those who question these truths, they are traitors. Pretty sure most of the people, if they heard that he was dead, they would be like, nah, we're out. That'd be my guess. So you said Google seems to think that Aeons get stronger. <sighs> okay. Get me out of here! I want out now! You One second. Me? Wait till Titus is, is done with his rant. <laughs> okay. So you said Google seems to think that Aeons gets stronger as Yuna does for the entire game until she either maxes her own stats or unlocks the entire sphere grid. That's what I thought. Yeah. So your Aeons can get super powerful from that. And then you unlock the legendary, the uh, celestial weapons for the characters, break the damage limit, and then they're all freaking busted. Ah. Man, I hope Yuna's okay. Hmm. She's strong. She'll make it. I wonder how long it takes to get around the entire She'll sphere grid. It? Like how long you have to grind to have enough sphere Why? levels. So she can die? <clears throat> <sighs> Why is it everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Uh, the spiral of death. Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Spira is full of death. Only sin is reborn, and then only to bring more death. Spira sounds like a nice place to live. A cycle of death, spiraling endlessly. I actually named my first village on Animal Crossing on GameCube, Spira. Well, we're gonna find out this playthrough. Out. Your sentence has been decided. I don't think I'm gonna grind enough to go around the whole sphere grid. Sentence. Don't you mean execution? <laughs> really? Now, what person would execute a dear friend? You would. Walk the plank. <laughs> then you're out. You know how long we have to play Final Fantasy X to, to max the sphere grid Looks out? Like you're next. Would be gr next for what? Actually, I lied. There might be an easy. There's probably an easier way to do it. I'm pretty sure the Tonberry thing that RP was telling me about. Like you get like a crazy amount of sphere levels from like doing some sort of. Um, I guess you can call it an exploit from it in the monster arena. So it actually might not be impossible once you get that going. But I can't remember if that was for sphere levels or gill. I think it was sphere levels. <laughs> I like how he yells after he's in the water already. Get going. Where's everybody else? Floating down there somewhere, maybe. So yeah, if you if you do the Tonberry thing. You might actually be able to grind enough sphere levels relatively easily because you can also with, with the with the remaster they gave you the ability to speed the game up uh like a lot i think so i think with that you could probably do it pretty quickly you made it water team What's squirtle squads think they expect us to give up and die down here oh well that's a lame way to kill someone 
Where's Uni? I don't know. Wonder if we should wait for her. Hmm. Let's wait at the exit. If there is an exit. I think it is funny that there is an exit to like the endless chamber that's supposed to kill people. <laughs> How fares the Ranso Maester? It seems my father's murder troubles him. <laughs> Ever the Ranso. How dare him be hardly morally sound? Hardly useful. However, the summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Braska. She may be of some use to us alive. She has disturbed the order of Yevin. Found out the truth is what he's saying. She cannot be allowed to live. Well, almost the, part of the truth. I understand. Let it go, Seymour. No one thrown into the Via Purifico has ever survived. Yet there is always a small chance that they might. Place guards at the exit. Kill any who emerge. Sir, leave that to me. Oh, first your father, now your bride. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Wait, I will go too. You do not trust me? Would you trust a man who murdered his father? That is a fair point, though, that Keenock uh, makes. As you wish. I feel like he doesn't... I don't remember. Lady we'll see what happens. Forgive me. Hey, we're playing as Yuna. To the Condemned. Stone panels are scattered throughout the Via Purifico. Step on one to transport yourself to the next panel in the indicated direction. Nothing will happen if there is no panel to receive you at the far end. The piano music in this game is so freaking good. It like made me want to learn how to play piano for a hot minute. I did learn how to play a couple songs. I could play like, it was Puff the Magic Dragon. Um, Shit, there was other ones. I think there was an easy version of My Heart Will Go On from Titanic I learned. Like it's like a, a, a toned down version for somebody just learning piano. Um, that I looked into how to play the main theme of Final Fantasy X and nah. You gotta be like very, very skilled pianist to do that, which I am not. Obviously, I couldn't play any of it now anyway. But um, all right, we just have Yuna with us, who has some sphere levels we can use. Where are you going right now? You're going. Hold on. Where are we? Where? Are we, wait. I, I want to make sure I go the right way. Am I, am I, do I want to go around here? I think I do. Yes, I do want to go around here. We go boom. Boom, boom. Level three. We need a level three key sphere, though, to get down here. Music is so difficult. Yeah, I'm not musically inclined at all. Um, in middle school, I learned how to play the snare drum, which is, I mean, there's obviously intricacies to percussion instruments, like drum sets and everything get wild. But uh, I, I could do that kind of OK. And then I took a piano class in high school, just like as a blow off class where I learned how to play like a couple songs just now. But other than that, I, I I'm not good at music at all. <laughs> okay, so there are items around here to grab. We should be fine on our end. We also have our Aeons too. So we're not like flying completely completely blind right here. So normally if you don't have Yuna learning magic, you're kind of like strung out here because you what do you you can only summon but but you know she was like doing the most damage on our party when she was there so Honestly, I mean, learning like the intro to playing piano, like just like some very simple things isn't too bad. Um, and like most things, once you practice enough, it comes down to muscle memory. But like some of the more advanced things, like I, so I guess what I should say is being that I played snare drum for like two years in middle school, um, I never learned how to really read music because it's, it's not the same as like written music, like the like percussion. Um, percussion notes so it was a little different for me to learn that and then uh with piano 
you kind of did learn how to do how to play music like read and read music um but i i couldn't do that now if i wanted to i have no clue how to do it you also find that a lot of mu musicians who are just like self-taught don't actually know how to read music but they can just listen and play which i think is wild like that'd be an awesome skill to have Like just hearing something, then I was just being able to play it then. Did we ever get Kira? I think we did, right? Yes. Um. Hey, Lulu. Lulu. Hi. It's okay. I know. Very understanding. Ooh, white magic too. That'll be good. All right, where do you go? You don't go anywhere right now? No. Okay. Nothing. I think the room up here on the left has a bunch of items in it, but they might be locked. All right, let's, uh, who do you guys want to see? What kind of slime are you? You're an aqua flan? We got to bring him out. My favorite part about his, uh, his summon is that he gives no fucks that Yuna's in the room with him. Boy, well, and not in the room, but in the area of him when he breaks through this barrier right here. a big old boy ow he has the augas right yeah big attack zap I like his pose that he strikes at the end too. And then this is currently shut. So we have to take one of the transporters there. Hey, there is Orin. There must be an exit somewhere. We search. To the point, as usual. Overrated. All right, all right, all right, all right. calm down. Failure is not an option. Is this, is, this what, is this what you want, Cookie? This make you happy now, huh? Bring out your waifu. I think Shiba would get best girl in this game, though. So I agree. All right, heavenly strike. Drop a nice, a nice uh, sickle, ice ball, ice meteor. I don't know what you'd consider that on their heads. Oh, you know, okay. Uh, I guess let's do it again. Gotta heal up real quick. So we probably should get some Aeons into Overdrive before we have progressed through here too far. Um, there's something over here, I think. Zap. I don't have much hope for this, okay. Man, Lulu's not hitting very hard at all for some reason. Is 
It's like her magic damage is super low. I don't know why. Oh, well, she gets the Agas right now, so that's good. <laughs> it's about to go up if it wasn't. Strong before. I mean, we're following her regular path, so she should have as much magic damage as she's supposed to right now. Oh, well, there's plus four. That's good. Water gun. Thundaga. Am I building Melee Lulu? I'm not building I'm not uh, building Melee Lulu. Conceptually that's a cool idea though. I know I mentioned it last time. That that would be funny. Just see that little the little Moogle or Cactar just smack something for like nine thousand damage. I guess theoretically, um, once we got like a teleport sphere. We could like put her over in Titus's starting area and uh, start leveling her melee abilities up. Hey, what's up, Kamari? Yuna, sorry we left you alone. No, it's okay. Grab this. And then, does this take me anywhere? No, it's not on. So there's a way to get over into the room that's locked. Uh, do, 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 do. To get to the treasure chest in the locked room, move north from the first save here and take the right turn. Let's go do it. Because I want all the things. Also want to get Bahamut into overdrive. We'll get Shiva into overdrive too. Um, and we get one more after that. I think three is probably enough. How funny would it be if a game let you leave party members down there like permanently? Just like, nah, you're not part of the story anymore. Sorry. That would actually be hilarious because you know that people on their first playthrough would probably miss somebody there. Like Kamari, for example. And just like never have them again. Just completely changed the story. All right, we're going to let him splash us one more time. Okay, so we go back to the main room. Hey. And then I think we go down down here to where we found that black magic sphere. Yeah. Or do we not find it? Oh shit, I just stood on it. What oh I didn't want to do that. Oh, well, we can get Aeons into Overdrive, though. Your strength. I think that's her plan. Smack! And our overdrive is ready. That didn't do enough damage. How much health does this thing have? What's a kick do? Oh. I feel like getting haste on Shiva would be really good because she, she moves so fast already. Okay, 
a lot of damage. All right, we have to run back here. Oh, no, we're not. We have to run back around. Uh, we also need to get one more Aeon into Overdrive. Um, we'll do we'll do Valfor. Bring out the OG. Even though I think that he might be used in the next fight. Yeah, it'll be alright either way. Hopefully we can actually get him to overdrive this fight. I don't know. That did a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much it was. We probably need to kill him. So what we'll do, we'll go back. When we get back to the save sphere, I will uh, spend a... Uh, we'll uh, we'll save and, and heal everything up and then um, do, do one more battle to get him to overdrive. I feel like I didn't have to come all the way back here, but we're here now, so it's fine. Oh no! Fish people! Are they weak to thunder? Oh, they are. Zap them. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna spit at me? He did spit at me. Big zap now. A storm comes. There's that damage. Okay. Don't step on that platform. We want to go up here and then... Is it... Oh, wait, maybe that was what we were supposed to do. Did I do the right thing already? Did I reactivate? I think I might have already reactivated it. Shit, okay. Well, uh... Let's do this real quick while we're here. Okay, so I think what happens is as it moves around, it activates that platform you're on. Oh, whoops. He looks very shiny right now. Good job, Valfor. Oh shit, look at Orin killing a flying enemy. All right, so we need to go back around now, I think. RIP. Whatever, it's fine. It won't take that long. A few more random encounters and we'll be there. I think to teach an Aeon Haste, you have to get a Chocobo Feather or a couple Chocobo Feathers. And I don't think we have any yet because I want to teach uh, Eva Haste, I think. And that'd be really good on her. Probably would be good for everybody in the party to actually have the ability to, to cast Haste. Being that it's such an overpowered skill.
Okay, so this platform is now activated. Okay, let's see here now. All right, to go back to the safe, so relocate Orin, head west again when you reach the chamber, the gate bars your path, stand by the teleport pad, when the glyph arrow points towards the room, step on the pad to the teleport inside. Wait. Let's go back to the first room. Now can we get there? Wait, that's left. There we go. Oh, okay. So is this the room we found Orin in? I think it is. Or is this Lulu's room? This is Lulu's room. Shit, okay. Alright, to get the treasure chest in the locker room, move north from the first save sphere and take the right the first right turn. The black magic sphere is on the right side of the chamber, and the floor lift should now be active. When you step on it, the teleport patch outside is moved to a new lo location to the west. Go back towards the safe sphere where you located Orin and head west again. When you reach the chamber where the gate bars your path, and stand by the teleport pad. When the glyph arrow points towards the room, step on the teleport pad inside. We fucked this all up. I'm going to solve this puzzle. We touched that to activate it or whatever. So that should be good. I don't know where we found Orin at. I thought we were in that room already. Let's go back this way. Fish people! Oh, Kamari is in the party. We could use him. Alright, this is where we found Orin at. This is not activated, though. What is happening? I don't think I messed anything up, like, really that bad. Also, for this being a place that nobody ever escapes, it's pretty lackluster.
I mean, forward doesn't work, even though it's towards the room. Left doesn't work. Are you serious? Ambushed by fish people. No. Oh. I feel like this is a very obvious puzzle to solve, and I'm having a hard time for no reason. Yeah, what up, Pidgey? You knew you weren't crazy uh, when, when you didn't like Cyberpunk? Did I hear the news? Which which news? Pertaining to Cyberpunk or what? I know that uh, CD Projekt Red offered refunds to everybody and then also their stocks like dropped really bad, like a billion dollars in losses. They delisted it from the Sony store, really? Uh, I didn't know that actually. I think people are being very harsh on it if I'm being completely honest with you guys I I um if you really didn't like it that much I haven't played it so I guess I don't have a first-hand experience with it to make a comment on it is it like like it what is it what way is it bad I guess is what I'm asking that's the pro I think it was overhyped I think they oversold it and under delivered you know what I mean and I think that's why people are very upset all right I have no idea how to solve this puzzle and I'm getting very frustrated <laughs> just cheesy and robotic That's not what I wanted to do. I just want to figure out how to get the damn... You know what? The stuff in the room isn't even that good, but I just want it now. What? No true freedom and definitely not groundbreaking. Yeah, like I said, I think it was oversold to people, and that's why people are so upset, because they thought it was going to redefine gaming or something like that. When, like, I've been saying since I saw the first, like, couple videos of people that people released, if you like, like, general, like, Fallout Skyrim games, you'll, you would like Cyberpunk, I think, for the most part. Um, now, I don't know how it holds up in terms of story and whatnot, because I've not played it really. You played it twice and could not get into it. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's hard for me to make a like an like a have an opinion on it because I haven't played it. But you can customize your dick. <laughs> so there's that. I mean, that's something, right? I will not leave. I will stay in the Via Purifica for the next 20 hours until I figure out this stupid puzzle. Circumcised or not, two sizes of penis and one vagina. <laughs> Yeah, see, groundbreaking. No, I think, so I think it, a lot of the criticism is twofold. I think that it quickly became cool to hate cyberpunk because everybody hates like things that other people want to like. Um, and then I think that the game also, from what I've seen, is, was not ready for release when they released it. And I think that, I don't know if it was CD Projekt Red or, or somebody else who like pushed them to release it or the fans. Like, maybe they should have just gave them more time to release a finished product, you know? Because um, what I have seen from the people who have enjoyed it so far, they're saying, you know, if you, if, if they gave it, like, the, over the next, like, six months, the game would be perfect or something like that, you know what I mean? So, uh, if you, if you 
I, I could see why you would feel that way. All right, what the hell am I doing wrong here? Did I miss like clicking on something I should have clicked on? We touched the other the other teleport pad way back where. So that one was good. This is the room with the black the black magic sphere in it. Isn't it? Yeah. This <laughs> part of the game is Monkus. I hate this place. Dude, I agree, Oren. I agree. The music is fire. I did comment about that already. I am wasting an obscenely large amount of time here, though. I can say that with confidence. Over what is what is the rewards? A skill sphere, ten thousand gil, and a lucid ring. Yeah, that was a little quiet. I need to. I need to figure out how to make grunts louder. The sound clip is just super quiet. Oh, it's right there. Oh my god, I never walked in here. Did, did anybody else realize that? Have I ever solved this puzzle before? Because I don't remember ever seeing that little cutscene before. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I had to have done this at some point. It's a Hagen Fury. Yeah, the fish peoples have been uh been attacking us. No, that's not the right magic. It's fine, I'll kill him anyway. Alright, here we go. No, I didn't do it right. God damn it. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go. There we go. Now go to the left. God, Bavel sucks. The game was apparently in development for eight years, so it was hoping for a neat game. Red Dead Redemption 2 was the last game that you played that broke the mold. So, sadly, um, whenever I got... I bought Red Dead Redemption uh, 2, like, on release, I think. Um, and it was whenever I was really busy with work. So, like, I didn't really... I was literally working, like, 10 hours a day, or if not more. And, like, by the time I would get home, I'd, like, want to go to sleep. But I would, like, try to play it. And I would literally fall asleep within the first like half hour every time I would try. So I literally got through the train sequence at the beginning of the game, like the beginning opener of Red Dead Redemption 2. And then into the first town and then never picked it up again. Hit that mute button fast enough. I think you may be slightly jaded, but I kind of I understand why you are not happy with with uh, Cyberpunk. I think that okay, so I think if you discount the bugs that are in Cyberpunk, because like games like Fallout and um, like Skyrim, Oblivion, all of those kinds of games always have a bunch of bugs when they come out. So. The problem is, from what I'm seeing from some people, is that Cyberpunk at its core was not an enjoyable experience for them. If you remove the bugs from the, the equation, they still aren't enjoying it. So if that's the case, that's a whole different story.
Because, like, a, a lot of the reviews that I saw and stuff, they're like, oh, this game is so buggy, blah, 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 blah. I don't care about that. I, don't, I literally don't care about bugs in a game because it happens. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I understand what you're saying. You didn't enjoy the core of the game itself, discounting any kind of bugs or anything like that. Right. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. And I think that is why, like... So a lot of the reviews that I saw, that was like their number one reason. They're like, yo, this game's buggy as hell. And like, that makes me feel like the review isn't really credible because a lot of the reviews are done on um, press release copies before like day one patches and stuff come out for games now. And that was the deal with Cyberpunk because it had a, a huge day one patch that was supposed to fix a bunch of issues. Um, but like you're saying, you had a problem um, with like the core of the game, so. I've never played Half-Life 2. One bug in the game is trash. I can feel the troll coming out of you, Cookie. I feel it emanating. All right, let's let's have an Aeon battle. Finally, after 30 Lady minutes. Una, so it is you. Why are you here? We rode the airship to the Calmlands, then came to Bevel. Maester Kinnock summoned us then, ordered us to deal with the traitors. You will fight us. The temple's orders are law. Wow, Asaru. What Even a... if you are Lord Braska's flesh and blood. Talk about brainwashed. You're a traitor. His guardians. I don't see them. Maroda and Passe are not here. I will do this unhappy deed myself. Forgive me, Lady Yuna. Also, I think it's hilarious that he thinks he's a stronger summoner than Yuna. And he uses like the, the beginner Aeons. Like he doesn't even have like Chiva or Bahamut. I don't think so at least. Wait, he might have Bahamut. No, he has Bahamut. Never mind. He's in Bavel. He should have Bahamut. Yeah. Your Aeons against you see that bullshit? That's a grand summon right there in our face. To our face right now. Do I bring out dad to fight him? Or mom? Mom or dad, who do you guys want? Choose! I feel like we should send out Shiva. Huh? You want Shiva? All right. He doesn't sound too different from Waka not that long ago. Yeah, this is true. You want Joe Rogan? I don't think Joe Rogan is uh, available. Wait, who are you calling Joe Rogan, I guess? All right, so we should, pr let's try something. I'm curious. Oh, you're behind in the chat, okay. Don't sacrifice Shiva. I'm not, watch, will this work? Will that block Hellfire? Yo, is Shiva gonna die here? This is a fire attack. I think it, I think this might work. If it doesn't, then I'm sorry, Cookie. Look at that. I actually didn't think it was gonna work, I'm being completely honest. But that's cool. All right, so if I overdrive you, you get two attacks in a row. All right, that's fine. You actually might die here. I don't know how much damage Shiva's uh, Diamond Dust is gonna do. Kamehameha wave time. I like when you get the dynamic angles with Aeon overdrives and it like does like the crazy camera to, to Shiva's click. I like that one. Also, she did four nines, so she's ready for uh, the Lulu to, to break her damage limit. Yeah, I like uh, he also has to reset the fight, coward.
I could probably take these Aeons. Play these Aeons with Yuna by herself. Hold on one second. Shiva looks a little cold. You're ready to type you're a bitch if she died. Now we're good, guys. I actually wasn't sure. Yeah, I was actually surprised that, that worked. I don't also don't understand why um the uh, auto mod caught bitch is a bad word. I mean, I know it's a, a swear word, but like not that, not that bad. <laughs> uh, all right, dad, dad's coming out now. Poke them with the staff. Full damage build, Yuna. Full physical damage build, Yuna. I should say. All right, how do we want to start this fight off? Let's hit him with a, a Firaga. He's gonna he's gonna poke me with his foot. Ooh, big miss, big miss, dude. Smack him. Auto mod is moderating a Christian server. Auto mod supports Yevon. Is that what you're saying? Smack. I think I'm immune to the effect. All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta blow our full load here. Mega player time. Best Bahamut of all. I think he's probably my, yeah, I think he, he's probably my favorite version of Bahamut also. Being that he was my first experience with Bahamut, so. Whoa, that was kind of weak. I didn't like that. Why did why did Shiva do so much more damage than Bahamut? What the fuck, man? He changed sides now. What I will say I don't like because Shiva's greater than Bahamut. What I, what I will say that I'm not crazy about is that Bahamut, when you fight him, if, uh, has only, um, he only has, like, the countdown timer. He doesn't actually attack. Shiva radi radiating bad bitch energy. <laughs> I cannot let you pass. It would have been a lot cooler if he said, you shall not pass, but. Um, I'm kind of concerned. I don't know if Valfor can do it. Um... Bring a mom back out. For Cookie, at least. Run, you fool. It's fly, you fools. Come on, get the quote right. I know you've watched Lord of the Rings enough to know it. Freeze him. Ooh, okay. How much damage will this do, I wonder? Eh, not enough. Alright, we have five turns. Am I excited for the Amazon show? Yes, I have not read anything about it, but I'm real excited to see what they do with- I, I mean, I hope they do it right, I guess is what I'm really- that's my biggest concern. Because Lord of the Rings is like my favorite fantasy world, so I really hope they do it correctly. But I mean, like, I'm trying to think of like, like if you like look at the boys, like as another Amazon exclusive, like that game's or that show is done extremely well. So if they have the same care for when they do the Lord of the Rings show, I think we'll be okay. All right, let's kill him. Yeah, I mean, essentially, Lord of the Rings is like the OG, right? It created the fantasy genre, like you're saying, so.
Yeah, overkill. That was an abrupt stop Stay to the music. <laughs> Yuna, let's go. I honestly thought the game crashed for a second. There's a way to the surface up ahead. Elder, Scro Elder Scrolls is your second favorite fantasy world. See that? I have never. Your pilgrimage is over. I've never dove into the lore of Elder Scrolls too much. But I can only imagine how deep that goes. Hey, Titus. What up, dude? Um, Don't know if Brotherhood's a good weapon to have under, in the water. I feel like it's probably not. So let's put on our Baroque. Uh, how do you even say that word? Baroque? Sword? Oh. Uh, we don't really need to buy anything, I don't think. So we're going right into another boss fight, which is super fun. Uh, we're going to fight an octopus and some underwater Sahagans now. Sahagans. What is the octopus? It's literally called an octopus. Dragon scale. Cool. Dude, walk is hitting so hard. Oh, you need piercing for these guys. Okay. Are you serious? Mega potion? What are you talking about, Pidgey? I was hoping that would kill him. So we're gonna, so the next boss we can do, you can actually kill it in like one or two turns, but we're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna actually do the full fight. Help these things have, I wonder. Not that much. Is that what you were talking about when you said Mega Potion? Because you can actually, instead of wasting your Mega Potions, you can use Phoenix Downs to fight the next boss and kill it super fast. You get some extra items if you do it this way. It's not like a huge deal, but we're gonna do it. What do these things do? I don't remember. Ow. Charging's bad. Stop it. Oh no. Still charging. I'm gonna steal whatever you have. Ooh, more dragon skills, that's good. Blitzball, the most overpowered weapon in the game. All right, let's do the sphere grid for everybody real quick. Good, some more damage. That. Back to there. There. 
I like how Waka is becoming overpowered even though I'm trying. I'm not even really using him that much. He said, I have the most character development in this entire series. I will be stronger. So I was sending Riku down here to get Kira. That is quite the long path to actually get to it, I think. Oh wait, what was Kikiraga? Uh, wait, we have level two, level four, and level one key spheres, no level three. Oh. I go back, I'm putting Brotherhood back on. Oh, did you get level three keys? Level three uh, key spheres last, probably because they're so useful to get through the different like pathways, as opposed to the other ones. Because level four like lock like the best attacks in the game, whereas the level three are kind of like your way to jump paths between characters. There's one chest. Ooh. I think we want to go back a little further, though. Yeah. It's funny that Evray also will not give up. He's still here. Just a, he's a he's a water drill, more more like a leviathan now than a than a worm. A water worm, actually. W Y R M. Oh, actually, I want to steal from him real quick before I forget to do that. Thank you. All right, what's he going to do to us? Oh, no, that's actually really bad. That's like really bad, like really, really bad. Because Waka was our big damage. Hey, there he is, even though he's dead. Oh, it actually reses Waka. Look at that. I had no idea it would do that. Dude, are you fucking serious? Oh, it didn't work. Whew. All right, let's see if we can do this. Going for yellow. There we go. I think he, I mean, I would assume he's weak to this, but he's zombie actually, so maybe not. Good damage though. I mean, we could water. We, we have lightning mark. We could use that. Bad. There we go. 
Right, I'll just steal from him one more time to make sure he doesn't have anything else on him. Oh, hey, dummy. You could just use the Phoenix Downs now that we open the gates. Duh. I'll do that next turn. Goodbye, Evre. He was almost dead anyway. He has the zombie status. That's, that's why that works. And now he's finally dead for good. Uni! You're all right? Did I do it wrong? Were you supposed to kill him at the beginning to get the items? <laughs> we were Whoops. so worried. Wait, what do we miss? We missed an Avenger and a rematch. So stuff for walk. Uh, no, Avenger might be for that. Titus. Either way, it's fine. Thank you. Um, I. Uh. Say it. I love you, Yuna. How are they carrying Keenock like that? That soldier's one-handed carrying him right now. You know how strong he'd have to be to do that? Keenock. Why you? I have saved him. He was a man who craved power. And great power he had, but he feared losing it. Trembling at unseen enemies, he spent his days scheming petty schemes, chased by his fears, never knowing rest. You see, now he has no worries. He has been granted sleep eternal. Death is a sweet slumber. All the pain of life is gently swept away. Ah, yes. <laughs> I can see. So you see. If all life were to end in Spira, all suffering would end. Don't you see? Do you not agree? That, Yuna, is why I need you. Come, Lady Yuna. Come with me to Zanarkin, the lost city of the dead. With death on our side, we will save Spira. And for this, I will take from you your strength, Yuna, your life, and become the next sin. I will destroy Spira. I will save it. You're totally nuts. That's one way to go about it, I guess. Dead man won't die again. Yo, that would be a big asshole in his chest. Very well. I will give you your death. You seem to want it so. That kind of looks like his overdrive right there, but it's not. He's like absorbing them. Now he looks like a proper Final Fantasy boss. Run! Protect Yuna! Go! No way! I'm fighting! I said go! I like how they're hesitating. Like, Seymour could, like, attack them right now. Yeah, and you know what that means? 
Yuna, anywhere you go, I'll follow. Anywhere I go? Yeah, anywhere. Well then, let's, let's go. go! Hey, Kamari! Leave some for us! Hey, wait for me! Me too! I'll go too. I feel like Oren's like, every time they like, he wants to do something or get out of trouble, he's like, God damn it, we have to go back again. Do you actually, okay, is it just Seymour down there? Yeah. I don't know if you can see Kamari in front of him or not. All right, so what we need to do now is get all the Aeons into overdrive, because I'm pretty sure you can get into fights in this pathway. Also, what is Iwaka doing here? You're quite popular these days, eh? Anything you want, I've got it. Not on the house, though. Traitor or no, Lady Yoon has always been a friend to a walker. I mean, yeah, we gave you the startup funds for your business. We better be your friend. All right, we need to kill um this man. Okay, Titus. Didn't expect that. If I'm being honest with you. So we'll get all the Aeons into Overdrive, just so we have them. Um, actually, if we get all the Aeons into Overdrive, we can blow Seymour out of the water here, I think. I'm pretty sure this is one of the bosses I was worried about earlier, where like you summon an Aeon, they get one attack, and then they get banished by Seymour. Which makes sense, because he was a summoner, so he'd have some like control over that, also now that he's overpowered. Oh yeah, we're charging up Dragon Ball Z style. Could have used more than that, but. Imagine being these, these uh, soldiers just like, oh shit, look at this giant beast in front of us. Ice Queen time. Or Mom. Otherwise known as Shiva. So the only Aeon we can't really use for this fight is Ifrit right now because... Or Ifrit. Um, because they're using flamethrowers and that wouldn't be very useful. I'm kind of a little worried about boosting with her. They might kill her. I know we're good. I thought it'd be more damage than that. Oop. This should do it right here. Up next is Ixion. We've not seen we haven't seen Ixion in a while. I 
I believe Ixion is tied to Kamari for uh, damage limits. I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering correctly, you can actually get Ixion as a mount in Final Fantasy 14, which is pretty cool. It's not the exact model, but it's very similar. Yo, Fitness Gamer, thanks for the raid. How was your stream tonight? All right, Ixion's good to go. Let's just kill this guy now. So yeah, guys, we're, we're uh, prepping for the next boss fight right now. So I'm just getting all the Aeons into overdrive before we uh, go down that pathway there to good old Seymour for the second time. Ooh, I don't want to fight this group. Uh, this is not a fun group to fight. We're gonna, we're gonna politely walk away. I'll be right back. If we can get into another fight, all right, there we go. Okay, we, I can live with this one. So we want to kill these two fast. I guess we could theoretically get everybody into overdrive. You're the last boss in the challenge. Damn, you made a lot of progress then since well, Tuesday. Um, we can just do this. This is fine right now. He'll actually heal a free while the uh, other dude kicks him, so that works out. Yeah, your progress is going a lot faster than mine. That's for sure. But I'm also guessing for your challenge, you probably don't do a lot of the side stuff, right? You just kind of plow through the main story. All right, let's just lower him down a little bit. Bonk. That's not as much damage as I thought it was going to do, so that's good. I thought it would be more like 800 damage, so I can live with that. No crits. We don't want any crits here. Good. Actually, one more, one more slap. Okay, now we're good to go. So let's just uh, take this guy out. Then we'll get kicked one more time. Overdrive's good, and then kill it. Boom. All right. Now we're ready for the boss fight. It was probably over-preparing, um, getting everybody into overdrive right now, because we don't really need that much to do this, but you never know. It's also fun to just watch Aeons blow everything up. Uh, so I want to go this way with Titus. We'll do this fear grid. Go up here. The only side stuff you did was some games with Blitzball to grind for return spheres and to get the first strike and get anima. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, did you say that you've performed the challenge before that you're doing now? Like you've already done it before or is this your first time doing it? I feel like you, you, last time you said that you've done the challenge before, but I can't remember. Okay, that's good. Orin, go over here. More health for you, of course, why not? So I think we're going to want to open up with uh, Titus, Yuna, and Orin against the next boss. Which is Seymour, obviously. You can see him down there, so. Um, third time doing it. Okay, so you already kind of knew what to expect then and everything. Probably had a better strategy planned on and whatnot. That's good, though. All right, so I think, let's do it. If we can make it. I think we're just gonna flee from all the fights on the way down there, because there's no reason to do them. Um, you could theoretically grind a lot here if you wanted to. Oh, there's a save here right in front of him. I didn't even realize that. So that'll make you do the run over and over again. 
But I mean, everybody should have flee at this right point. Back. So like, there's no reason to really participate in these battles. Because that group right there will really fuck you. If the two cannon ones get to go at the same time or something, they'll like one-shot some people. And also, the, ki the, the one that kicks to the uh, YKT-63 will also remove your characters from battle, which we saw before. Be right oh, is it automatic? Put Kamari in the front line. All right, we'll switch him out, though. All right, let's do it. <laughs> he just shakes his head. God damn it. They followed me. All right, we'll do... Actually, yeah, I'll do it. So, you too seek freedom from this painful life? You talk too much, Seymour. Strength increased. Is it, do you get magic resistance? It is good to see you again, Lady Yuna, but you don't seem pleased. I'll only be pleased when you're gone to the far plane. Yeah. Ugh, this is gonna hurt. Well, I guess it's good to cast a... No, it's not, actually. Never mind. Ugh, what a shitty boss. I don't like the things that you're doing to me. Kinok was still my friend, Seymour. You will pay for his death. It's kind of weird that Orin's upset about that, of all things, but you know, it is what it is. Um, we could actually heal up, or we could start blowing our Aeon load on Seymour. Who do we want to do first? Let's start off with Valfor. The OG. I think it is pretty cool that he has energy. That his second overdrive energy blast is like probably one of the easiest things to miss in the game. If you have Reflect with Unity, you can just cheese him with, with Reflect and he'll just hit himself over and over again. That's actually really funny. Oh, I used Energy Ray. Whatever. So, the the idea behind this boss, if for some reason somebody doesn't know, um, if you haven't played the game before, is you want to get Mortar Body to keep absorbing health from Seymour to kill him. Uh, and you just keep repeating that process over and over again. And like I said, he does one-shot your Aeons, which is cool. I mean, it's fine. You're, they're only there for the overdrives anyway. So there is a petrification attack that also happens occasionally that that will break you. And then you lose a character permanently, which sucks. Um... Let's bring out Ixion. We've only used Ixion's overdrive one time, so we'll use it again. So, Thor's hammer. Here we go. So we're still at the point in the game where the Aeons are way stronger than what our char characters can do. That's what kind of why I'm doing this strategy still. So after the next portion of the game, our characters will probably be stronger Death than our Aeons. So we'll, we'll use them a little bit more for these boss fights. You think that when you did the game, when you uh, casually play the game, you, gr you grinded up your characters so far that you had you had Reflect before your first Seymour fight, so you just cast, cast it Reflect on everybody. And so he ended up just killing himself then. That's actually awesome that it worked out. Oh, also, Mortal Body's health reduces by a thousand to I think it's at a thousand, I want to say. Um, I don't... That's a lot of fucking damage from Orin. Holy crap. 
I wonder if Titus can one shot more to body. Yes, he can. Yeah, so it drops all the way to a thousand. All right, he only has 9k health left. Well, I think we're going to do this for Cookie. We'll give the kill to Shiva. If she can do four nines again. She did it earlier, so I think she might be able to do it again. Actually, he's dead regardless. Because she'll at least break 9k, and then Mortal Body will suck the rest of the, the life out of Shiva. Or out of uh, Seymour. Not Shiva. So, it'll work out right here. The same Aeon that fucks Seymour the first time gets to do it again. How dare, how dare I doubt Shiva? Oh, there she got it. Goodbye, Seymour. We escaped with our skins intact, but Yuna lost something. I could already tell her faith was shaken. Yevon had betrayed her. I felt like I should do or say something, anything. But nothing came. I was just as lost as she was. And then... What's up, Michi Poo? Just can't bring yourself to grind well, anymore in the game. We're all clear. We will have to avoid Bevel in the future. Yuna. You're at the original creations? Oh, uh, from the monster arena? Yeah, those get a that gets a little rough at that point. Alone. That's a lot of grinding to be able to kill a lot of them. Of course. Can you use Zonmato from Yojimbo to one-shot all of them? I feel like you probably can. I mean, that's super cheesy, but it's still like an option. For Yuna. Maybe you should talk to her. But see, you'd still probably need to grind at some point to make sure you had enough guild to keep paying him enough for Zonmato to happen. Because I think there's a like a, a like an equation that essentially goes into it that gives the percentage for Zonmato to happen. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but still. But you're doing with the characters, yeah. Wonder what Yuni will do, huh? Think she'll quit her pilgrimage? That's what you want, right? Well, if Yuni really wants to keep going, then I guess I shouldn't stop her, you know? That's what I think anyway. Yuna's off in the woods. Kumari's with her, but maybe you should go too. Nudge, nudge. That's what I thought, Fitness. I thought that Yojimbo had the capability to one-shot every boss in the game. Yeah, even the side bosses, because you can kill Penance with your Jimbo in one shot. Oh, that's weird. His voice line didn't work there. Hmm. I feel kind of bad leaving everything up to her, you know? I am tired. I am. <sighs> I wonder if there's a way to perform the final summoning and not die. That'd be great, wouldn't it? I feel like somebody would have thought of that by now. I guess someone would have thought of it in the last okay. thousand years, huh? Hey, maybe you should. I think it might help if you were there. Lulu's, Lulu's out here playing matchmaker. <sighs> it would be so easy to fight without thinking. Walk a straight line. So easy. All right, I think that is everybody's voice lines. Let's do this real quick. You declined on any Aeons, um, besides using to get Anima and stuff. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, there's that. that's one way of playing. Like, for example, whenever Cookie, another guy in chat, um, when he played through, he primarily used Shiva the whole time, which I think is a wild way to play. I think it's an actually cool, different way to play the game is only use an Aeon. Um, and like make it super powerful, uh, whereas instead of just grinding your characters up. I 
I guess you'd still have to do some grinding of the characters also, just with Yuna at least, to get Shiva empowered by that. But still, it's a really cool way to play the game that I wouldn't have thought of originally. Damn, Kamari got five. All right, where are we going with you? Going this way. Yeah, she's definitely a beast. I'm surprised that her overdrive is doing more damage than Bahamut's though. Because normally he's like breaking 10k already. I thought. What is this right here? Is that haste? Ah, oh, slow. Where, did I, haste was way up top here, wasn't it? Yeah. Right here. It was slow. Way up top? What is this? Where? Where the hell is haste at? Oh, there it is. There. I am... Uh, uh. All right. So, guys, with that, and Waka keeps sighing, I think that we're going to wrap up for the evening. Um, Final Fantasy X will continue on next Tuesday. Um, I am... I'm a little concerned about going into the next area because I don't want to um, have the green screen for whatever reason. It seems to happen later in the stream every time. I, I don't want it to... I don't want to miss the next cutscene because it's super important. Um... But next Tuesday, we'll continue Final Fantasy X. On, tomorrow, on Friday, I'll be doing um, the Shadowlands Tier 1 Raid Castle Nathria on normal. So if that interests, interests you guys, stop by. I'll probably go live. The raid's at 9.30, so I'll probably go live, I don't know, an hour and a half or maybe an hour before just to do some daily stuff. And then um, on Sunday, me and RP are going to do Risk of Rain 2 co-op and try to beat Mithrax finally. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching tonight. You also have a good night, Cookie. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.